Hello everybody, what is going on and welcome to another fishing video. Now today, we're going to be doing some rainbow trout fishing out of the kayak. The weather's finally cleared up a little bit. The last couple days it's been, yeah, not the best. So today, we're going to go after some trout. If you watched my last video, which you totally should if you haven't by the way, really interesting pike meal catch and cook, uh, I almost, almost caught trout. Came right up underneath the dock and I missed it. So today we're going to see if we can't make up for that. Do a little bit of trolling, maybe some jigging. We're going to see pretty much everything we can to get into one. Anyways, let's get right into it. All right, so just at the moment trolling a little lime green wedding band, kind of slowly here, not going too deep because I had that trout come up really close. And you know, it hasn't really been all that hot recently. So I'm thinking there might be some trout kind of in shallower trying to feed, but we'll see. I might head out later a little bit deeper, maybe try with some, um, try with a, willow leaf like a gang troll in a little bit deeper water. That might be good as well. But yeah, for now we're just trolling the wedding band, nice and slow. Let's see what happens. Man, I gotta say, it's kinda nice having the, uh, the camera out here because the last few years I've been fishing up here. Whenever I go trout fishing like this, it's just so much waiting around. I just go crazy out here on the kayak. At least now I can talk to myself and not feel like I'm crazy because I'm talking to a camera. Okay, we got something on here. I don't know what it is. Oh shoot, I lost it. I lost it guys, but I tell you what, I had a, absolutely had a fish and by the way that it just hammered it, I'm pretty sure that was a trout. All right, so this trout fishing. It's kind of kicking my butt. It's really hard. I haven't had a bite since since that first one where right when I put this rig down, I immediately got bit. I haven't had anything since then, so I'm going to... Um, going to take a little breather when I get back to the... Um, when I get back to the dock there. I'm actually going to take a second now to check this, but... I take a little breather. Yeah, this this I think got caught up in some weeds or something. Maybe it's a fish. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised if it was a pike mouse since they barely fight. Nope. It's just a really freaking big weight. I thought for sure there were some weeds on there or something. But yeah, so I'm gonna head back to the dock where I filmed the last couple of videos and do a little bit of fishing there. And you try for some trout, try for some some pike meal, see if any carp come by. And just do that and then in the meantime, uh yeah, we'll see if uh we'll see if the weather stays calm, we can come back out in a little bit, but my back's killing me, arms are killing me. I need to get back on shore and have a breather. So that's the plan. Man, you know, every time I lose a trout like that one in the dock the other day or the one here that I lost a little bit earlier. I'm assuming it was a trout. I'm 99% sure just by the way it was fighting and the fact that I very rarely actually get pike minnow on, uh, on wedding bands. I'm just, I know that I'm gonna be kicking myself for a while because I'm not gonna get in a shot for a while. I'm hoping that's not the case today. But it definitely feels like it is, so we'll see what happens. All right. Well, that wasn't great, but the silver lining is we got this whole dock to ourselves so we can make the best of it. All right, so the kayak, I just pulled it in here. Got beach. We got the whole dock to ourselves, so we're just going to do some, some fishing here while we got this whole beach. Hopefully these ducks won't come try to eat my bait. That'd be unfortunate. All right. I think everything all set up. All right, here we go. Got net, carp rod, float fishing rod. Hold off to myself. So we're gonna get to it. See what happens. All right, I actually did see a carp swim by, but he was right near the edge there, right near the drop off. So I didn't even really try to cast to him. I'm just gonna get this this float rod out with some shrimp on it. 
Because, you know, I don't know. I got a good feeling about it today, float fishing-wise. Just, I like the fact that it's a little bit, it's kind of pre-storm. Oftentimes I've had, the only times actually that I've had success trout fishing like this, on this lake, was, um, was right before or during some bad weather. So, maybe they will be our lucky day, who knows? It's quite possible it won't, but maybe it will. All right, all right, all right. There is a carp. And so we are gonna try and catch him. Do I need to find my corn here? <clears throat> just, I didn't even really realize that it was a carp. I thought initially it was just some weeds or something because the wind is up and it's a little bit ripply. But also that's a good fish. That's a really good fish. That is a much better carp than like most of the ones we caught in the last video. Or not the last video, I guess that would have been. I guess that would have been two videos ago. Or one video, I don't know, just not last video. But either way, our bait is now going down. And that, yeah, that's a big freaking carp. It's a good fish. Darn though. You know, he totally, um, totally just ignored my bait. In fact, I think I might have spooked him a little bit as I came down. Well, we broke the skunkage. You know, we could, this is a peamouth chub. I wanted to do a peamouth chub catching cook. I think that's what's happening. You know, this has kind of come out of nowhere, but I had no idea what I was gonna do if I was gonna make this a video or anything, because trout fishing was not working out. So I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm going to do a peamouth chub catching cook, which I've also never eaten. All right. Let's do it. I'm going to dispatch this guy and we'll get to it. All right, so I got this guy all bled, dispatched him, bled him out. And now it's also worth mentioning, I kind of forgot to mention, this guy had swallowed the hook. There's no reason I want to keep this uh, fish because he might not have made it otherwise. But yeah, so today is going to be Peamouth Chub, Catch and Cook. It's going to be my first time trying one of these. I've heard... Pretty much everybody's told me these are these are terrible, except for one guy I met who's actually a marine biologist who said they're actually quite good because their diet is very similar to a trout's diet. Either way, we're going to find out. I'm going to get this guy on ice, and we are going to cook him up tonight. All right, missed the hook up here, but got a very lively chub. These guys really do put up a decent fight for their size. A lot more so than pike mail do. Like pike mail, I'll, uh, you know, I raved all about the catch and cook, but they don't fight well. But these chub, they really put up a good fight. All right, so I've given a fair bit of thought about how I want to go about cooking and preparing this guy. And I think the best way to do this is going to be to leave him whole, even though it does have the Y bones in here, because the pike minnow that I did last time with like the Y bone fillet method. Uh, it did work pretty well for getting rid of the bones, but it was pretty difficult with as small a pike meal as it was. And this chub is even smaller than that pike meal. So I think I'm going to leave it whole and just gut them and scale them and just clean them off and cook them whole. And then I think I'm going to do it actually in a campfire because I think that'd be pretty cool. So I'm going to get a fire going uh, and put this guy in the coals uh, and cook him whole.
All right, so now I got a nice fire going. I'm just gonna let this burn down, get some nice embers to cook that fish on. In the meantime, I'm gonna prep the fish to go into the fire. All right, so while this fire has been going, I've taken the time to gut, scale, and cut the head off this guy. Now I'm gonna prep him for cooking. So I think all I'm gonna do is just cut some, uh, some little slits into this so that it cooks more evenly on both sides here. Then I'm gonna hit it with some of this salmon grilling seasoning. That's just this random seasoning that we had in the cabin. Oh, bumped the tripod there. My bad, there's a lot of mosquitoes around, kinda of trying to go quickly. But some seasoning like that. Then we're gonna hit it with some butter. Put some butter up in the cavity here. Oh, whoops. These mosquitoes are actually driving me insane, guys. There's like a hundred on me right now, but I gotta get this. I gotta get this video finished. <laughs> Alright, so butter all over them. Then, to finish it off, I'm just gonna take some slices of lemon, stick a couple right in the cavity here, like so, and then some more right over the top like that. And we're gonna wrap that up and stick down the coals, and that's gonna be our chub. All right, so now that we got a nice little bed of coals like that, I'm gonna go get the fish and stick it on here. We're gonna get to cooking. All right, so we're just gonna nestle that bad boy right in there. I'm gonna see if I can't kind of cover it, cover it up with some other coals. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but oh, that's, that's kind of good. And see if I can't kind of kind of bury it in coals there. It's a pretty small bed of coals actually. But I'm gonna work on trying to get this buried. Now I'm gonna leave it in there for about maybe five or six minutes and that should be good. All right, I've let this cool for a little bit here. Now I'm gonna see if I can't open this up and see if it's cooked. See what it looks like in there. It's still a little bit hot, but just about use my hands. Oh yeah, that's cooked. That is nice and cooked and oh my god. That smells actually quite delicious. It smells really, really good. Let's see, can't get a better look at that, but just smells of delicious lemon and fish, which is what you'd hope for this to smell like. So I'm gonna go get the tripod set up at the table and I'm gonna dig in, see how this bad boy tastes. Alrighty, so I've given this guy a little bit of time to cool. I think now it's time to give Peamouth Chub the first ever taste. So I'm quite aware, I can already see now there's quite a few bones in here, which I expected. But the meat itself looks very, very... Give a little bit of a close-up on that. It's it's totally like... I don't know what, what, to, what to call it, but very, very white. Very white meat. Looks almost like a cod or like a halibut. So I'm just going to dig in. You know, the taste, first of all, tastes fantastic, which at this point I low-key expected after how good the pike meal was. The texture is a little bit soft, but that might be because I kind of overcooked the crap out of this. So I'm not going to blame that fully on the fish. I cooked this probably a solid two minutes longer than I should have. But yeah, the bones definitely, definitely don't help, but the taste of the fish is quite good. Um... That's actually, I really, I see a lot of bones, but I haven't really have in my mouth yet, so. Overall, pretty decent, surprisingly good. All right, so I just finished eating this chub, and I gotta say, as I ate it, it kind of grew on me, because as I kind of got down to the bottom, there's like some lemon and butter here from how I cooked it. It was actually really, really tasty, and the meat, has got, it's got a great flavor too. It's kind of sweet, it's not fishy at all. 
The texture wasn't great, but that might have been because I overcooked it. The bones do get in the way, but if you don't really mind bones too much or you fillet this properly, it'd be really, really good. Um, but anyways, yeah, overall, you know, I don't get how these fish get a bad rap. You know, maybe it's the bones, but the pike mail was delicious. I actually like the pike mail more than this, but that might have been because of how I cooked the pike mail and filleted it out with no bones or anything. But yeah, either way, you know, give this a go if you never have before. You might be really surprised. Anyways, it was super fun making this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.